Didn't you love that scarecrow and that sign? Well, it's Tag Team Tuesday, and we decided our theme for tonight was going to be scarecrows. That's what we came up with, and that was why we posted, you, you know, a play on words there. There we go. I got it. Yay. Did you love that Oops. scarecrow and Got to turn that off. Hey, Rachel. Hey. I know it was cute, right? Hi, Amanda. Hi, Beth. Hi, Willie. Whoop, whoop. Tag Team Tuesday. We're doing scarecrows tonight. Wow, Phoenix. Great. Alabama. Iona, where are you from? Or is it Ona? I'm really bad with names. I'm so sorry. Well, we've got a scarecrow sign here for you, too. Hey there. This is one of the signs that I just printed today. Welcome from Kentucky. And these are going to be in my Etsy shop, too, real soon. I made a girl and boy gnome to match the scarecrow sign. Welcome. Is that pronounced Jonda? Wow, Conroe, Texas. Welcome. So there's my two gnomes. I just created those today in between baby bottles and diaper changes because I'm watching my, my uh, grandson. Okay, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using this square Dollar Tree frame. Willie was kind enough to search in her area and pick me up some because I could not find any up here, nor did any of our stores have any. So I went ahead and I put my own tinsel ties on it. I have one in each corner, one in the middle. And then on the uh, inside one, I have one in between. Now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do the Jackie Weave. And I think I'm just going to do that on the outside. Not sure yet. Okay. Now these are 21 inches and they're cut at, um, it's 21 inch mesh cut at 10 inches. Now I always use... This is a three quarter inch PVC pipe. I always use this to roll. A lot of people use their leftover rolls from their mesh. I do not use those because I need it to stick out on the end so I can pull it out easier. Hey girlfriend. I got gnomes, you got balls. We all have to learn how to, what, how to make Willie's balls. They are awesome. And see, then I just do that and pull it out. Okay. Now, with this, what you're going to do is, I already have the ends of one piece here. So I'm going to stick the ends of this piece here. Then the next one, where's my will loop inside this one, okay? And then you just kind of, so it actually gives you a poof and it gives you some curls on the end because these are the curls from the previous one. Yeah, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite one, but I thought this would be unique. And then, okay, just to go along with the scarecrow theme. All right, you saw my sign. Hey there. Well, now with some of my signs, I'm going to have matching garden flags. Isn't that cute? Hey, Joy, welcome. Hey, Jean, welcome. So, yeah, these were printed by me. I'm, I'm loving my heat press. This takes an extra large um, piece of print paper, okay? 
but wouldn't this be cute? You got this on the door, and then out in the entrance where you're coming in, you have this hanging out there, so it matches. And one of my newest ones, Proud Marine Veteran. Okay, thank you, Willie. I have this in um, Proud Marine Mom, Proud Marine Wife, and we decided to add veterans because there are a lot of veterans out there. I have it for every branch of the service. And if you're putting this on a wreath, and you don't want the holes, I have the solid piece. And then I had a request for this one. It's in this family, no one fights alone. So I had a request for this. Thank you. And I've got more signs to show you. Willie and I have gone sign crazy. That's one of the most um, thing that's one thing we use the most of in making wreaths besides all the pieces you see then I just push it aside okay and then you're making it kind of like um, an awareness ribbon is what this turns out to look like so I need to loop it inside the other one I was testing it ahead of time why Willie was on because I wasn't sure how many how many ties I was going to put on this and I wanted to make sure that it would all fit so yeah I do have lots of surprises and where oh okay in my um, Robin's wreath signs and more if you're not a member of that Facebook page, you need to go on and like the page. What you have to do is answer a couple questions and then I preview. Because um, I got a sale going on right now and it's in my Etsy store and it's just for people that are on my uh, Facebook page. They get to see all the new signs first and they get special discounts now and then. So make sure you check that out. It's Robin's Reese Signs and More. Thank you. Yeah, Willie and I met at um, a wreath conference, the Wreath Gala in Rochester, and we have been friends ever since. She is a hoot, and we just love her. Now, because I don't have a loop here, I'm just going to put my uh, tails in here which will create the curls on the end. Do you guys all see this okay? Let me pull it down. Maybe it'll make it easier for you to see. Let's see. I'm just trying to see where I need to be so you can see the action going on. Thank you. Oh, I see somebody went over and liked my page. Good job. Yeah, because there's a coupon code in there that only members of my page will have access to. All right. How did I end up? I'm going to need some more cut. Good thing I got more. Yes, I do, Nikki. I've had a lot of requests. Um, this week alone, I had a request for a nurse's sign, um, a teenager's bedroom sign. Um, what else? I can put on the flags, I can also put your, your um, last name on there. All you have to do is send me a private message and tell me what colors you're looking for. Oh, yeah. This is kind of like a fabric mesh. I actually got this from a friend who found a closeout sale. So I grabbed some because it's kind of, it's lime with a little bit of burlap running through it. And those are like two of my favorite colors. So I need one, two more. 
actually probably three. So let me cut this. Again, I'm cutting this at 10 inches. And you're just rolling it. You can use the tube from your uh, leftover mesh. I think I need a new blade for my um, cutter. Get out of the way and stay there. There we go. So what's it like in your neck of the woods? Right now we're just like sunny and breezy. It's really pretty. Well, hi, Laura Jean. Welcome. Yeah, Laura Jean was at the wreath gala when we were up there. Okay, so again, this method is called the um, Jackie Weave. So your two ends are creating the curl. Like I said, I thought I'd try it on this square. What the heck? Way hot, Nikki. And I can't remember, what state did you say you were from? You might have said it and I wasn't paying attention. Hey, Tanya, welcome. So again, this is cut at 10 inches. We're doing the Jackie Weave. There goes my bowl. So the ends are making the curls. And you can go back and just adjust and pull your curls up. Actually, it's working out, I think, kind of nice on this. And I think I may only do it on the bottom layer. I don't think I'm going to do it on the top layer. I'm liking it just the way it is. Oop, catching on my nooms. There's my girl noom and my boy noom. And they match the sign. Hey there. And then I showed you the flag to match. Also, this is, I had made a, oh, I, Hey, Dar. Dot. <laughs> yeah, it's not a hard method to do. It, it just takes a little coordination in the beginning. Like I said, this piece of PVC pipe, it's cut at 24 inches, so it allows you to slide it off. If you're using the tube from your mesh, you don't really have an area to slide it off on. I'm going to need a couple more. I'm going to need one, two. So let's cut two more. And it's 21 inch mesh, cut it 10 inches. And then I have another mesh for the top layer. Oh, thanks, Willie. Y'all, Willie's going to come up here one time. And her and I are going to go live. Steve's going to bring her up as long as I cook. <laughs> Steve likes to eat. And I like to cook. Yeah, I haven't done, a, done one in a while. I have a request for a farmer. I think this is cl as close to a farmer as it's going to get. So. <laughs> All right. So you got your two ends going here that are going to create your curls. They're going to stick up. And this is kind of like a fabric mesh. Okay. So then I'm going to loop it through here and it's going to go there and we're done with the bottom layer. I got some new... Um, Christmas ones. 
I just had a request for a hairdresser. Tanya, I'm in Hughesville, PA. What state are you in? Uh-oh. I awoke the bear. I'm going to need one more, I think. Yep. I'm going to need one more. Just when you think you got it figured out. Yep. It may not work out the way I thought it would. Because look. I got nothing to loop it to. So when doing this, you're not going to be able to do it on odd. On even numbers, you're going to have to have odd numbers in there. Oh well, that's the side we'll put our bow on. Willie, what's Steve's favorite meal? I know he likes pizza. I already knew that. Because when we were in New York, we ordered pizza pie. But what's his favorite, favorite meal? Does he have one? Oh, sure he does. <laughs> oh, okay. Chicago. All right. So we ended up. Well, no, no, we won't. We're we're good. We just need one more. This is awesome because I had this mesh and it's been sitting here and it's like. I want to do something with it. I love this mesh. And the first time I did a live doing the Jackie Weave, I stopped in the middle of it and quit and went on with another method because I it wasn't coming out the way I thought. <laughs> Food. So yeah, we're good. Yay, it came out. All right, so when doing this on a square frame, Dollar Tree frame, the Jackie Weave, you will need even number of ties and i use tinsel ties everybody that's watched me knows that i use tinsel ties because i do not like pipe cleaners they don't hold up for me they rust easy and i have trouble sometimes grabbing stuff with my hands so that's why i use this the tinsel ties are easy for me to grab so there we go. We ended up even. Yay! Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now, what I decided to do, I have 10 inch mesh here cut at um, 18 inches. Now see, it has the same burlap running through it. I just want to put a second like layer here of color. And this is that mesh I don't know if you've seen it. Like it has two colors to it. Thank you. You can get them. They either come in a roll like this or they come folded like this. Now my tinsel ties I cut at 12 inches. Um, you can get that at the Reese shop. You can get it at... Um, Trendy Tree. Um, Willie, what was the name of that 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 shop you just told me about with the 50% off? They had some in there. They had colors that not everybody else had. So I picked some of that up. But I'm telling you, this mesh here, this has some burlap in it, and it's flying around and itching my nose. All right, so we're just going to do the ruffle. And we're just going to put this in the ties. Shoo, excuse me. Right here. So it's just going to be, I needed something to cover up the frame, but then I wanted something to tone the color down. So that's why we're using that. Plus, I love this mesh and I want to do something with it. I've had it for a while, so. Where's my big honking scissors? There they are. Hey Dawn. Hey Rachel. 
Welcome to Tag Team Tuesday. I don't know if you saw Willie's, but tonight we're doing scarecrows. That's why we didn't want you to be scared. Oh, have you? Okay. Willie says she's she has seen the tinsel ties at Joanne's. See, so it's still bringing some of the green through, but it's just putting a mute color on there. And Dawn, while I have you on here, did you want did you want me to mail the uh, nurse's sign, or did you want to wait till I did yours and the other one? Let me know. So I didn't. I thought maybe you'd want them all shipped at once, but then if your customer is waiting on that sign. It may be better to send that ahead first. Just let me know. I'm actually getting a haircut on Tuesday. I've cut my hair four times since all this started. And I am so anxious for her to straighten it out for me. Because I know she's not going to be too happy with me. Yes, limited colors, definitely. I'm dropping my gnomes. They're going everywhere. Originally, I was just going to do this all around, but this has kind of like a see-through look to it, and I knew if I used it, you were going to see the frame. So that's why I decided to do the Jackie Weave, because I thought that would give it color, Welcome. And if you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. And if you all haven't signed up to my YouTube channel, you might want to do that because I'm having a contest. If you send me your email address and you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, send me your email address and you'll be put in the drawing. I'm giving away five signs. Actually, it's kind of like a gift certificate to my Etsy store, and you're going to be able to pick out what five signs you want. So wouldn't that be fun? And if you're already a member, already subscribed, send me your email address anyhow. I'll put you in the hat. guys are getting tangled. I have never, ever, ever worked with a square frame before, so this is awesome. Hey, Nancy, how are you? But isn't that, doesn't that look pretty because it's just kind of peeking through? And this has the same burlap running through it that this does. Okay, Beth, if you send me a private message, like if you you hit, um, I'm trying to think where you would go for that. Huh. You don't want to comment. You want to, you want to go up to the top and hit Robin's Re3 and make sure you're following here and you hit the bell, but then you can send me a private message. You know how to send a private message? There should be a place to just message me. Because you're going to get to pick out the signs you want. Under a certain price range. I have some in there that are rather expensive and they cost a lot to make ink-wise. So, but the everyday ones, like the, ones I'm, the one I'm using tonight, those you'll have access to. Great, thank you. Just make sure you hit the bell here and then go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and hit the bell there. Because you all know that sometimes I don't watch what I say and if I end up in Facebook jail, at least you'll have a place to find me. And I know there's a bunch of you on here that have already been sending me your email addresses. 
even people that have already subscribed to my channel. And like I said, if you're not a member of my Robin's Re3 or Robin's Re Signs and More, please go over there and answer the questions and request to join because that's where I put my coupons for my Etsy store. And there is a coupon in there right now. I'm just loving these two colors. Beautiful. My messy room looks even messier because I had to go searching for all the pumpkins and, oh, and then this, see this pumpkin ribbon? Okay, that pumpkin ribbon and this pumpkin ribbon are going to be in my Etsy store. And then tomorrow when I go live, I have a lot of ribbon to show you. That is the Christmas ribbon that will be matching a lot of my signs. Well, welcome Isla and thank you. Thank you for putting that there. That's really helpful. Isla put the pronunciation of her name on there. Okay, so there we go. We've got that so far. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it, with the green showing through? All right. Now, we have to figure out where I'm going to put my sign. And what I want to do is I want to, I want this to be like on an angle. So... I'm thinking my sign's gonna, I don't want it down that end. I have a short, um, short tinsel tie down there. And I knew once I decided to put this on here that I was gonna put it where the short one was. So I think my sign's gonna go there. So, put that over here. Or is it over here? Yep, here we go got my wire. Oh, sorry. My nose is really itching now. My sign is a little play on words. It says, hey there. I like to put a little humor in my signs. I'm big on gnomes. I make a bee gnome, a ladybug gnome. I made a patriotic gnome. So I'm really big on signs. And you know what? That is not doing it for me. Let's see if I can get this through here. I'm going to put an extra hole in here. I don't know why I'm using that wire. I don't like it. So I'm just going to put a hole next to the hole just to make it a little bigger so my tinsel tie can go through there. Yep, gotta put another one. Diane, you have to go through the um, posts. You'll see it. I'll try tomorrow to put it at the top of the page again. It might have gotten buried. So maybe that's why. Oop, missed it. Like I said, I just like the way this holds the sign better. I'm on already. I've been looking all over for a bigger metal hole punch, and I have yet to find it. 
because I have a big camping sign that's personalized and it looks nice with just some roping and uh, it needs bigger holes and I cannot find it anywhere. Now it'll go through. Again, I could use the 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 wire, but I can't play with that thin stuff. Come on. There we go. Now we're cooking. We're cooking with juice. Okay, so there's that. So whoop. Now I can get it down there. We'll get it now. I'm knocking my computer over and everything. So that's on one side of the square. I'm actually putting it on the outer layer. There we go. See, it even twists. And I can twist and twist and twist and... It won't break off like the pipe cleaners do. Have you ever watched anybody during their live and they're twisting away and then all of a sudden, snap? That would happen to me. But not with tinsel ties. You haven't done anything wrong, Diana. Just keep looking. And if you can't find it, I will try and send it to you. Now I went too tight. Got to have some play in there so it sits above the mesh. So let's come out. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see. I like where that's sitting. I wanted to put that there because I want to start putting some of my um, my tails on. And then what I'm going to do probably is have my, my girl gnome on this side and my boy gnome on that side. These are scarecrows to match the sign. So now I know where they're going to be sitting. Which is probably right here and here. So I don't need tails in there because they're going to be sitting there. All right. This is my ribbon. This isn't going to be new to my Etsy shop. Then we've got that ribbon. Because I want to pull out some of the brown in the ribbon. And then I've got this, which I actually use this ribbon to put a ruffle around the bottom of her jeans dress. Yes, yes. But I thought it'd be a challenge. All right, so here we go. So we've got this and this. So I'm gonna start up here because I know, I know I'm just gonna go here, so. And I cut these tails at 13 inches. And everything's gonna match. Hey Lillian, welcome. Well, if you love gnomes, you need to keep watching because there's gonna be more coming out. I got a gnome for practically every season. I've even got a red track gnome coming. And these, depending on if I can get more supplies, there might be a limit of only 12 sold. Just to let you know. So if you want it, it's not listed in my shop yet. I'm hoping to list it tomorrow. As long as my grandson's a happy boy, 
I can get some work done. And tomorrow night, my other son's wife is supposed to be induced. So we've got another new baby on the way, a baby boy. Whoop, whoop. So we've got a, two grandsons this year from my sons who live local. So this is going to be their first Father's Day. Isn't that cool? There we go. I'm going to move these guys because they're going to end up flying off again. And then I'll show you a couple more signs. Okay, I have one who was born in February, and the other one will be born Wednesday or Thursday. I know, right, Tammy? I found this fabric. The, that gnome is going to be in a limited supply also, because I found the fabric and I cannot get any more of it. So these are going to be a limited edition, along with these. Because I even made, made the hats. And if I can't get any more of this, then I can only make 12. That will be my limit. Oh, yes, and what do you see? Okay, I showed you my flag. Well, here's, here's my pool flag. Life is best in the pool. I have a baby flag for a boy or girl. It's coming out. I have a memorial flag where you'll be able to put the picture of a person that you've lost on this flag. I will do it all for you. You'll just have to send me a sign or a picture. So a lot of new exciting stuff coming up. So if you're not on my Etsy, you know, following my Etsy shop, you might want to do that. There, I just posted the link to my Etsy shop. So you should go on and follow. So a lot of different things coming up. Also, um, car coasters, personalized car coasters coming up. I think I'm going to do this tomorrow. I go live on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock. Yep, and the garden flags, and then there was one more thing. And these are all special designs, so you're not going to find them in the store. So there's going to be a lot of exciting things for Christmas. And I got some new uh, stuffed animals in. They're called cubbies. And I got some new ones. Um, a hedgehog. Because I also do embroidery. So in the next day or two, keep watching my uh, Facebook page. Because once that baby's born, I got a lot of stuff that I got to embroider with his birth information. I put the weight, the height, the day, the time, the full name, all that stuff. And look at that. It's going to come out even. Yay! I was very cautious in how many ties I put on here because I didn't want to end up with an odd number. And I, I'll probably go ahead and make a short video to post to my YouTube channel on how I put the ties on here. All right. So there we go. That We've got that so far. What do you think so far? Show me some hearts. Not a mad face, just some hearts. <laughs> Somebody left me a mad face last week, and I tried to contact them to say, you know, what was it that you didn't like? share with us you know and i'm thinking i'll put the bow right here 
So we'll put our girl and boy, Noom, we'll put him on the opposite side of his picture. Because he's in the in the sign here. Oh, there's an there's an angry face. Who's doing that? Maybe you just hit the wrong button by accident. I hope. Thanks, Rachel. I spent a lot of time on this guy today. He's got actual blue jean material on too. Oh, look at you guys, spreading the love, showing the love, thank you. All right, so we got him over there. And then let's put our girl, and I gave her some flowers and some pigtails. And see, all my gnomes come with a little tinsel tie already attached to the back. So you can attach them to your wreath. So you don't even have to worry about that. All right. Let's get her on here. I do such a good job of wrapping that I end up losing the seam that I can sneak through. <laughs> I probably should make it an option on the Etsy store to put down whether you want it on there or not, because some people have been using it in their arrangements. So there she is. And this is going to be a one of a kind. There we go. So hey there. All right. Now I think I'll put a tie here and a tie here and then put my big old bow right there. I think that's how we'll do it. Just tuck that in there. Yeah, and we can use this one. Any balls? I got balls. <laughs> I just love the way Willie says balls. I always tease her on her lives. She's got like that New York accent. <laughs> I love that. I love you, girlfriend. But yet, she knows that already. Right? Alright, so we'll put that in here. Did y'all see her, her, our Tag Team Tuesday last week? I made her a sign and I made her cry. All right, so that leaves here for the uh, bow. But let's go ahead and share a couple of signs. Okay, I had somebody request a hairdresser one this week. This comes in 12 inch and it comes in 8 inch. <laughs> and then... Oh, see, this is this is another gnome that I have. If you haven't seen my bee gnome, I actually print the fabric and the wings. I do all that on my on my machine. Then we have snowflakes are kisses from heaven. Cute, cute, cute. And I started doing this. I started giving it to you either in round or square. That way, or rectangle. So that way you get a choice. And I have one I'm working on and I didn't like it so I've changed it. So I have this one that says warm wishes. I'm big on snowmen. I love snowmen. So there's gonna be a lot of snowmen signs. And you saw my aloha. Pineapple is a sign of welcome. So I don't know, I may stick some balls in here. Why not? We could put one there. We could put one here. We'll make the bow first and then we'll decide. Thank you. 
But there's our gnomes. Aren't they cute? Alright. See, I was going to put tails all around. But I changed my mind. I do have some pumpkins. But I couldn't find the right size. So I don't know. I think I even have some leaves. I thought it'd be kind of cool to stick some leaves. Or I have um, raffia. So I may have to stick some of that in there to make it look more like a scarecrow resides there. All right. And I know I still didn't get myself a new Bodabra. I'm still taping it up. One of these days, when I feel it's safe to go out and about, I will get a new Bodabra. And for those of you just joining, my girlfriend and I used to do all kinds of crafts and sell them during the winter. We'd have them all displayed down here. So she left me her bow maker and I was making some bows and I put it on my on my seat and I sat on it and <laughs> broke it. So I bought her a new one. So that's what happened to that. All right. So this is the, this is again, one of the new ribbons. Oh, and look what I found. It goes with my welcome sign. Isn't that awesome? So I have that too to put on the website. All right. I think we're going to start out with the brown on the bottom. And I think I'm going to do about a 10 inch tail and about a six inch loop. And I like doing my bows, three loops and two tails. It's just how I roll. Right, Willie? One of these days, Willie's going to call me and say, I'm on the road again, and I'm headed your way. Then I'm going to have to make Steve some of my famous blueberry crumb cake. You name it. Okay, what's the other ribbon? The other ribbon is this one. So a 10-inch loop. <laughs> a bow tapra. <laughs> now all I want for Christmas is you and Steve up for the weekend. Jeez, do you think there will be a Christmas this year? I hope. Because with all these new grandbabies, I want a Christmas. All right, so we got that there, so we're going to put that this way. Because I have my two tails over this side, so I'm going to have my two tails over this side now. <coughs> Excuse me. It's all this glitter. All right. Then... Uh-oh. Might need to sandwich a solid in here. Well, not really. Those colors are in there, right? No. We're going to live on the wild side. I'm going to go to a five and a half inch loop on this one. The other two were six. Now this one's going to be five and a half. And I do that to measure make sure that they're the same size. And a 10 inch, 10 inch tail. Put that over here. And then we have our pumpkin love this because see it has the, the the tan check in the background 
Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Can you guys hear me okay? Believe it or not, I found out today I can use my microphone with my phone, and now I can't find the microphone. <laughs> Go figure. All right. We got a snazzy looking bow. Now, I don't know. I may want to put a plain color in between those two. Sometimes I like to just throw another color in there, and I really think I need to do that, but I'm not sure what color I want to throw in there. I could throw this in there, and I think that would break it up enough, or I don't, I don't think I want a plain, no, I don't want a plain orange. So... Or my go-to. I love my go-to. I'm going to throw that in there. That's always my go-to. It just gives it an extra punch and throws a little black in the design. That'll give it some visual interest. <laughs> Is that awesome? <laughs> In back of my curtain. I'm not fortunate enough to have an IKEA storage wall. You don't want to see what's behind that curtain. I still have Christmas stuff I didn't put away from last year. So that's what's behind the curtain. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Uh oh, my bodabra is falling apart. Really falling apart now. I can find out what's wrong with my Easy Bow. Maybe I need to contact Easy Bow and say, Help me. My bow ain't easy no more. Okay. Get a zip tie here. And then, see? Now, I usually have enough left over to use on the entire wreath for any wreath attachments and also for the bow. So there we go. Your pups are doing just fine, Chad. Took a miracle a little while to warm up. And Taffy is busy trying to find you guys. So she's not a happy camper. And they're eating up all my food. They won't eat their food. So as long as they're eating, I don't care. And don't rub it in how nice a time you're having down there. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but your babies are fine. The white string, okay, this, Beth, this is tinsel tie. It comes like this or it comes folded. I use it in place of um, pipe cleaners. That is my go-to. I don't like pipe cleaners. I can't grab them. I can't twist them a lot. They always end up getting um, twisted and break and... And they get um, rusted out in the weather. There. So that's what that is. Tinsel tie. All right. Let's get this on the wreath. And then we'll fluff it out. And then we'll see if we need to add anything else. Susan, you just went in and bought some? Did you find the, coup the coupon code?
Yes, I use them on my work form, Beth. In fact, you know what? Since I really couldn't find a lot out there on how to set up a square work wreath form, I think I'm going to create a short video and post it to my YouTube on how to um, make, you know, put the ties on here. I think everybody would get a lot out of that. I need the big kahunas. Boop. There they are. My regulars know that these were used for upholstery scissors. I used to um, upholster motorcycle seats and um, snowmobile seats and you name it. And we used these for cutting that fabric. Oops, no. Oops, no to the coupon. Talk to me, Susan. What'd you do? We can fix it. Don't worry. Be happy. And if there's something that you all want Willie and I to do for Tag Team Tuesday, um, just let me know. Let either one of us know. We'd love to do something that you actually want to watch. Something you've had a question on that you uh, would like to see. Let us know. We'd love to tailor it to what you're looking for. I'll take care of it, Susan. I got you, babe. Don't worry. I got you back. Susan has requested some amazing signs. A dentist sign. Her customer had a, um, what was that, a, a vase on her front porch, and she wanted a sign to match that, so we did that for her. Christy or anybody who's on here, we had a major boo-boo. My husband has started helping me with the shipping, and we sent some packages off to the wrong people. So we have to do some fixing of orders. So I think we got it figured out who got what, and we will be taking care of it. I still think this needs like something, like some bowls, maybe one up there. It's not the right color though, so I'm going to have to play on that, play with it a while. But at least you saw me do a square work wreath, sit and play with those for a while. So there we go. What do you think? Whoop, whoop. We love custom orders. You know what? Let's, let's see. We can add some raffia to this. Let's get scarecrow-like. Yes. Forget the bowls. We need some raffia. Let's make it really look like a scarecrow has been all over the wreath. That's what I brought it down here for. So I think we're just going to do that. I'm just not sure. I think I like it open, not folded. Like 
that. I can trim it. Let's make it look rustic. Rustic and scarecrow-like. Yes. I like it. I like it. I like it. That's what it needed. Just some straw. See, this really holds up. I gotta hide those tinsel ties. was long enough that I could kind of do it like that. I think I'm going to do it like that. Look at these short ones. No short ones. Long ones. There we go. Now, I'm going to do the same on this side. We're going to take it starting here. Where's it here? Starting here and bring it up and around and cross it over. I got some really long pieces here. That's what I want. Just to give it some extra, extra pop. Just trying to even it out a little. All right, so right here. Let's make it look real rustic. And take it around up here. And cross it over here. Yeah, that'd be it. You don't see raffia used a lot in people's wreaths anymore. I dare to be different. And I think this is in the wrong one. I think I need to bring it down to here. Yep. Or do I? Well, I guess it is here. But you know what? It needs to be a little fuller. So we're going to add a few more pieces. There we go. 
And then I need to find some like little pumpkins. There we go. tails over top of it. And I may even take these or Nah. I don't know. I'm going to do something up here. I may take my three balls and paint them brown. And I think that would look cool. Just need something right there. Nope. See what this looks like. Or maybe this. So we already added this to her dress. So maybe just that something simple at the top. And paint a ball brown and put it up there with the flowers. Okay, what do you think? Maybe now with that there, we can put this here and that will blend in because now you've got the, the peach colored flowers in there. Just gives it another little dimension. What do you think? Just trying to see what I still got left here. A raffia. Tie some of this around the bottom of the bow and let it hang down. Thank you, Joy.
Might as well use it up. There we go. I'm going to paint these balls and I'm going to put one right there and one right there. And then I think we is good. What do you think? Or I'll put some pumpkins in there. I don't know. Like, the right size pumpkin just hasn't jumped out at me. I think pumpkins or balls. What do you think? Now I gotta disguise my ties. I don't think I have anything else that I can fill that with. Nope. Tons of pumpkins, but they're just not the right size. Look at that. See, these are too big. And that kind of looks out of place. Huh. Or, just throw some colorful leaves in there. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Thanks for stopping and sharing, and I'll take care of you tomorrow. I think that would look nice. Just some uh, leaves. Let me get rid of this. I don't know. I'll play with it some more. I'm trying to get that color from the ribbon in there. And if I use that, that would work. I kind of like how that blends. That must have used all the green leaves. Because there's no more. Let's put this over here and then we'll call it done.
All right. I think I'm good. But I think I will add five up here instead of three. So I'm going to have to iron some leaves so they, they sit right. There. See? And then the, the ball on top of them to hold them down and it gives it color. I won't have to color it. All right, I'm ready for that. Look, Willie, I added a ball. <laughs> I like that. Straw-like. The leaves give it some pop. And I won't have to paint it. Angie, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while, Lauren. Good seeing ya. There. I'm loving it. We are done. Right? Gives it just enough to color color it and then I don't have to paint the balls. There we go. Square frame. Jackie weave. 10 inches on the 21 inch mesh that's only around the outside. Then we use the other mesh. Cut it 18 inches. Ruffle on the inside. And there we go. And, and we have the flag to match the sign. Voila. And my newest gnomes. Custom gnomes. Ooh, this one is going to be, oh, I love it. I just have to disguise my tinsel ties there. And once I do that, which, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it, we're going to do it right now. Oh, oh, oh. Just give me another idea. You guys are awesome. You are encouraging me tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a simple tie right here. All right, maybe that's not the color to do that. Maybe I will use the pumpkin one. Let's use my new pumpkin ribbon. Let's keep it in the family. Got pumpkin on the corner there. And let's just disguise it with this and that's not going to do for me because I'm going to have to cut it in the middle like that so that my tails are going the right way you know me Why not? Why not? Or, or, wait, better yet, better yet, let's just disguise it with the leaf. Yes. Willie, I'm on fire. Do, do, do. Fire, fire, fire. I'm on fire. Yes. Woo, woo. Done. No more adjusting, no more fixing. We is done, baby. And we got balls.
I like it. I like it a lot. All right. That is it. Uh, thank you for joining me. And watch for us next Tuesday on Tag Team Tuesday. Wilhelmina and I. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Excuse me. I will go on there on YouTube in the next couple of days and I will show you how to add the tinsel ties to the back, you know, to your work wreath form. And I think we're good. All right. I appreciate you hanging out with me. My phone is dropped. There we go. And again, if you need a custom order, contact me. I can fix you up. And I'll be on tomorrow at 2 if we don't have baby Langry by then. Okay? All right, you all have a great evening, and thanks for joining Willie and I on Tag Team Tuesday. Good night.